Thank you. All right, we are back at the zoo because I am uh, bound and determined to try to get pictures and videos of these baby wallabies. We'll see how lucky I am. Or if I'm going to strike out again. <laughs> so I looked on the uh, website this morning and supposedly the uh, wallaby walkabout is open for a couple hours today. We'll find out if that's true since the last couple times I've not had much luck. But uh, you know, we'll see. At least it's a nice day it's not too hot it rained a little bit earlier so it's actually reasonably cool which is nice for me because i overheat easy <laughs> so we'll see what today brings us and i got some of the displays out for this uh insect uh thing that they've got going on that's special so I think there's uh, insects randomly around the park. It's like the uh, ropes course is going on. Some people on it. And we got the flamingos out though. Of course they're kind of always out. I'm just kind of continuing on the path. To the wallaby walkout, or walkabout. Maybe see if the sloth is out too. Come on, Chip. I bet he moves really slow. Hey, he's actually out. That's awesome. Hey, baby! Hey, yeah, Brendan. How's it going? Well, that was a treat. It's not often that I actually see the face of a sloth. Usually it's uh, in the bucket and you can't really see it. So I actually see him still sleeping, but you know, where you can see his face or her face, I can't remember if it's a boy or girl. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And we got the Jaguar over here. Which he is actually out pacing. But we're still making our way to the objective. Kind of all the way to the opposite side of the zoo from the entrance. I think I've the splash pad open. So the splash pad is for the kids. Okay. Gonna have some fun. Pretty popular and a good way to cool off. All right, kind of coming up on the moment of truth. Is it or isn't it open? Well, that didn't work out so well, but again, it's kind of the way that it goes. A lot of, uh, sometimes the exhibits are kind of hit and miss on um, what'll be open. 
this one's just been closed a lot so let's go check out some other stuff that uh maybe we don't always check out in the other videos since we're already over here maybe go uh, see a polar bear or a brown bear depending on what's out maybe some uh sea otters and seals so all right let's see what's cool Harbor seal it looks like show for us and here we are at the bottom of the bear enclosure I can't say that I've actually been fortunate enough to see the bear underwater generally speaking at least not when I'm down here well let's see if we had better luck uh, up top
sure the water wasn't too cold. out in some uh, summer guards but you got to see Kinnick in the water and she put on a little bit of a show for us so you know I was saying earlier I had not really seen the polar bear in the water very much at least not when I'm underneath in the viewing platform today we got to see a lot of her in the viewing platform and she went and did quite a few things so that was really 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 cool so hopefully we got some good video of it and hopefully you dig it. I certainly did. All right, let's walk up here on Snow Leopard Pass and see what we get. Maybe the Snow Leopards will be out too. I see one of them up there in the little walkway. And yeah, knocked out. She got to see one snow leopard, even though it was uh, sawn logs. So we'll see if the uh, Amur tiger is uh, out. Usually they have a lot of luck with a tiger. It tends to be up and walking around at least a little bit. And every once in a while you'll see them playing in the water. So let's take a peek. Vocalizing.
like your uh, domesticated house cat, only much, much larger. And this one you probably don't want to get in the enclosure with. See the tiger uh, vocalize quite a bit. Not the only thing we didn't get to see was uh, jump into the water, but that's all right. It's still a pretty cool show. I always appreciate whatever the animals give us, so that's pretty awesome. And looks like here's some more insects for the little special display. All right, let's make our way back up. Maybe make a visit to some of our old friends because, you know, I can't pass up seeing, you know, babies, so. <laughs> Another uh, insect display. It's like it's supposed to be the Western Harvester ant. Alright, let's go up here and see what we got. The gorilla's out. How many people are in there? Not too bad in here. Usually it's way more packed than this. see the face of the little hippo. Kind of funny, you can actually, the water kind of makes it look a little bit different. Too cute. We're getting pretty lucky today. Got to see the hippo's face, move around a little bit. It's like usually the uh, rear end of the hippo is facing in the window. So the fact that we got to see the front of the hippo is pretty, pretty cool treat. And of course, you know, getting to see the gorillas is always fun. They seem to eat a lot. Didn't see candy out though. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, we're getting close to the. Uh, 
zebra or zebra exhibit. Uh, I can see right now, looks like the male zebra is, I can see it. I don't see the baby though, so. Not in the distance is uh, Fitz's enclosure. I don't see any baby zebra. When I see mom, still don't see the baby. But it is getting towards two o'clock and I think it's only just on display till like two. So it could be that uh baby's already gone back in the enclosure. So there's mom. Dad. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the lines. Man's moving around a little bit. They're kind of just sawing logs like usual. fits because it's cute right seems to be getting into some food with mom Herself a bit of a dust bath. Fitz is giving himself a dust bath too.
getting to watch uh, Baby Fitz is always a treat, or at least I enjoy it a lot. I can sit there pretty much all day watching, watching him and his antics. So let's go have a wander and see what else we can get into. So you got the antics out. And they're kind of lounging like pretty much always. Here's actually something I've not done is the butterflies and blooms. So let's go check it out. Why not? A little bit hard to get like super close up on the uh, butterflies because they're kind of hard to track when they're flying or maybe i need to work on my technique it's more uh insects <laughs> That's what you guys looks like one of the cranes is uh dancing around let's go check it out Food time. I think it might be food time. These are some bongos, by the way. Definitely eating time. Quite content bongo, chowing down. So apparently it's a Russell's Griffin vulture and it is walking towards us. I like the coloring on the vulture. And he's going back inside. Maybe. It's a rock hydrax. I've actually never been in here before. Apparently these are northern bald ibises found in North Africa.
around. I was up and walking around. Dogs are out enjoying a nice little nap. Another it's a stink bug. I see enough of these in my house. Sadly. And a little lemur action. Actually up in the grass and not down below this time. Munching on something. Something spooked it. I think that's gonna do it for today's video so hopefully you enjoyed it we got to see lots of cool things a lot of active animals probably because it wasn't a super hot day but if you like what you saw you know if you could hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it hit that notification bell and you'll see when all the videos come out and I do a lot of zoo videos because it's convenient and easy for me and I like animals <laughs> but uh either way till next time I'll see you somewhere oh I forgot, comment down below, what was your favorite coverage from today? Do you like the lions? Do you like the tigers? Do you like the babies? <laughs>